Hey there, this is Julie Larson with CloudBloomers.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily resize your photos or crop your photos or do both if you need to and we'll be using a free program called PicMonkey.com so I'm already here at the PicMonkey.com website and if I hover over this little box here that says edit a photo you'll see that it says click to open or drag photo here I've got some photos open on my computer and I'm going to take this beach photo that I took of Longboat Key last year and I'm going to just drag it right over there and poof there it is. So I am now in PicMonkey and over to the left I'm going to click on the tab at the bottom that says resize. You can see it's a rather large photo 1296 by 968 if I want to keep the proportions, which I do, um, I have that box checked off there. You don't have to, but if you want to keep your, your proportions, your picture looking good, I recommend that you do that. So I'm going to make this photo 640, and then it automatically makes it 640 by 478. And I'm going to hit the Apply. And now it's a great photo here. But um, maybe, I don't, I don't really care that there's a couple of people walking there, but maybe you do. So if you want to crop them out, you're going to come up to the first tab, which is the crop, and you can drag, you can view it, which is really neat because you can see what you're doing, but maybe I want to just kind of crop those people out all together. Um, let's try to, here's the actual size of this cropping window. So let me make that an even 600 by dragging and I'm going to make this an even 300. I think. Okay, there we go. And then you can, you know, drag it around where you want to, what part you want to crop out. So it shows up there. I'm going to click apply and now I am going to, you have an option of sharing it, but I'm going to save it to my computer. So I'm going to click on Save. And then I want the highest quality, which is this one over to the right. You can save it as a JPEG or a PNG file. Uh, this one I'm going to save as a JPEG. And I'm just going to, I've got the dates there. I'm going to just um, relabel it with the size. So I'm going to put 600 by 300 and then it'll be a JPEG file and then save the photo and it's going to save to my desktop so I can find it and there you go so if you have any questions or need help as always let me know thank you bye bye